Welcome back to another level grind let's play. I am Malzero and this is Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Last time we played we were still we're still investigating. Um, from here on out the trials investigation phases are going to be a little bit longer so there may be multiple episodes where there is where it's just investigation. Um, it's necessary because I really don't want to make episodes like an hour long for investigation purposes so I'm going to split them up and you know keep the anticipation going. So we're going to continue and go to the pool area because we have to reinvestigate the locker rooms. So let's go into the... Oh, let's talk to Hifumi first. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Hifumi has discovered evidence revealing the identity of the culprit. <laughs> hmm. Another stat creeps for me. Evidence? What did you find? <laughs> I cannot reveal that just yet. <laughs> I guarantee that what I found will steal the killer's breath from his lungs. Are you sure about that? <laughs> oh yes, Miss Ludenberg said she witnessed something worthwhile too. Really? What did she see? <laughs> she, refused, she refused to tell me, but it's like when a girl bullies the boy like she likes, right? Right? Okay, so where's Celeste now? <laughs> the warehouse by the dorms. She was there, but at the same time not there. What's it gonna be? Alright, let's check out... Let's check out the, uh... Locker rooms. Let's investigate these and find out what's going on. No, Chihiro! Every time I see it, I'm just like, damn it! They keep killing off the characters you like. You just like them. They're freaking awesome and then they freaking die. Alright, let's um let's start on the left and work our way to the right. Oh no, Chihiro's presence here was especially weak. Her body and her soul. <laughs> to target such a helpless being. It's unforgivable. What a wretched beast to do such a thing! I cannot forgive this! Um, Alright, let's check the hero's body again. I feel this life draining out of her own body. The dead body. The hero's dead. No, I remember that. Alright. Check that. The big blood stand on the dumbbell. The murder weapon. No, 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 no. Not that. The blood stain. There's a blessing on the carpet. It could only be have been caused by Chihiro's murder. Poster. It's a blessing poster. The blood is the most noteworthy part, but the big breasted swimsuit model is pretty noticeable too. A girl's locker room doesn't seem like the kind of place you'd find something like this. Hey Kyoko, have you made any progress on your investigation? Yeah. Generally speaking. But I have to get going. I have something unrelated to take care of. Something besides the investigation? What is it? So? Nothing you need to worry about. Just concentrate on the murder. But... Yeah. Before I go, let me give you one piece of advice. You should examine Chihiro's body one more time thoroughly. Also, her handbook is missing. You might want to determine its whereabouts. Yeah, man. That's it. I'll be praying for your success. With that, Kyoko turned and left the girl's locker room. I guess I'll take another look at the body then. Jihiro's handbook is missing. That's definitely worth wor worth worrying about. Um, let's talk to Bondo one more time. Dude had a real comp. No, you already we already got that from you. All right, let's check the body. Kyoko said I should examine the body one more time. I know she said thoroughly, but I do have my limits. Well, I better give it a shot anyway. Let's see. Chiro's hands are bound with what looks like some kind of rope. The rope was used to prop her up on a kind of crucifix position. Huh? This rope has a plug. Wait, so then this isn't a rope at all. But the more I think about it, the more that's not the only thing that's concerning me. Chihiro's fatal injury was a blow to the head. Which means someone struck her in the head in order to kill her. That's right. There's the issue of her being suspended and the fatal blow. At first, I didn't see any reason to think too much about it, e to think about either of them. But seeing them again after looking through the genocide jack file, there's something's not quite right. What does this all mean? Well, the one thing most likely to tie all these mysteries together is the true nature of the rope that was used to suspend Shakira. And to figure that out, there's a certain place I need to revisit and look over again. 
Plus, it might help to look at the Genocide Jack case and file one more time. Okay. All right, so... Okay, get out of here. We gotta check the boys' room now. Uh, and then we gotta go talk to Celeste. All right, let's see. There's only two things you need to check out. Poster and the carpet. Huh, this poster? It's a popular boy band called Tornado. Somehow it doesn't quite seem to fit in the boys' locker room. Oh, but wait, that reminds me, the poster in the other locker room is... That's right, there's something strange about all this. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I got a little too close to the mic there. <laughs> That's right, there's something definitely strange about this. In the boys' locker room, there's a poster of a popular boy band. In the girls' locker room, there's a poster of a big-breasted swimsuit model. Could the posters have been switched? Or if they were, why? What's the reason would anyone have? Maybe I should talk to someone who knows a little bit more about the locker room. All right, I gotta check this now. There's a strange stain on the carpet. What is it? That's all I needed was was the strange stain clue. Okay, let's go back to since we're here. Let's go back and talk to Sakura. We gotta talk to Sakura because she's in the locker room like all the time. You spend a lot of time exercising the girls' locker room, right, Sakura? So done. I've used it nearly every day since it opened. Sometimes Tina and I use it together. Okay, then let me ask you something. Do you think the posters in the boys' and girls' locker rooms could have been switched? Sorry, I can't really say. I never really paid any attention to the posters. I see. But there is something that's been bothering me about the locker room. You see, I, I like to drink a little protein coffee every time when I finish exercising. We have protein coffee? Oh. In the warehouse, it's not the highest quality, but I don't have a lot of other options. I mix protein powder with coffee and down a glass of it after exercising. Anyway, the other day I spilled some on the carpet in the girls' locker room and it left a stain. A stain? But I don't see any stain on the carpet now. So done. Exactly, I noticed it earlier. The stain has, has disappeared. I can only assume someone came along and cleaned it up. But still, isn't it usually unusually clean? As if there would never was a stain here to begin with? Boom. That's all I needed. All right, let's get out of here. We got, I think I only got two more places to check. And I'm gonna use the map to get to where I need to go. So, wait, why is there exclamation points? Oh, cause that's where I need to go. And I gotta go over here. Gotta go here, gotta go to the warehouse. Gotta talk to Celeste. Uh, is there anything useful around here? Nope, let's talk to you. Celeste, what are you doing in here? <laughs> this warehouse is amazing. There's absolutely everything one might need to live a full life. From food to clothes to towels, there's an endless supply to choose from. I see that, but have you found anything related to the case? Sonna. I knew you were going to ask me that. I thought about t I thought talking about the warehouse itself might misdirect you, but I see it was pointless. Then you did find something. <laughs> Very well, I will tell you, and only you. <laughs> Last night I saw her here. Chihiro was in the warehouse. What really? <laughs> this was right before nighttime. トレーニングでも始めるおつもりですかえなんでわかったのスポーツバッグから<笑> stuffed the jacket in her bag in a hurry. It was almost like she was trying to hide it. And just like that, she was gone. So this one. I assume she was merely stocking up to go exercise in the morning, but it would appear she ignored the nighttime rule and headed directly to the girls' locker room. If she hadn't broken our rule, none of this ever would have happened. <laughs> you get what you deserve, I suppose. So apparently, 
She went to the girls' locker room at night in order to exercise without anyone knowing. The strange thing is, there were no trace of the jack track jacket or duffel bag Celeste said she saw Chiro carrying, which would mean the killer would have gotten rid of it somehow. Alright. I think I have to go check, um, hold on, let's go. I think I have to check the laundry room. Maybe. Might be here. Is there anyone here? There is no one here. I think maybe the bath, too, I have to check. Let's see. If not, there's one more place I have to go for sure that I can remember. Uh, check the open name. Lockers. One of them is unlocked, but I don't see anything inside. Let's go into the sauna area. Um. Okay. Let's see. I gotta go back to the second floor. Oh, yeah, right there. Yeah, I have to go back to the uh, library. Uh, I think that's the last place that we have to check. I'm not sure. Let's see. There's a thick layer of dust on the top desk. Maybe there's some kind of clue here. Guess not. I gotta check the lamp. Huh? The lamp won't turn on. Oh, I see. It's not plugged in. The lamp cord isn't long enough to reach the outlet from here. But last time I saw it, it was definitely on, and it was definitely right here. Oh, that's right. Byakuya was using an extension cord. But there's no extension cord here now. I wonder if... Uh, I think... And then I just have to go into the file room, I think. One more time. Check out that file. I'm taking a look at Genocide Jack Case file. Hmm. It's around here somewhere. Huh? It's gone. Did someone take it out of the archive? The only one who would no do something like that. I can't think of anyone but Byakuya. Alright, let's find his. Let's find him. Uh. Well, maybe he's in the library now. Let me just go back out the way I came, just in case he suddenly pops up here. Nope. Okay. Um, Alright, let's see. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay, let's go down to the floor. You know what? We gotta go to the incinerator, I think. But just in case there's someone here. Taka, let's talk to Taka. No, I'm dead. Maybe we should, confe should have confessed our embarrassing secrets after all. Damn it, I'm sorry, Chihiro. It's all because I wasn't strong enough. You stop blaming yourself, dude. Shit happens. And it's, we gotta find the culprit who did it and blame them. Alright, uh. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's see. Let's try to get rid of the evidence. It's probably in here. Let's go back to the incinerator, see if there's anything here. There is no one here, but let's check it anyways. This is a trash room. Uh, can actually, anyway, it's not really the case. Nobody, okay. Oh man, who do I have to talk to? Let's see. Uh, where was Chihiro's room? Oh, here. This is Chihiro's room. But now Chihiro's gone. Why? Why? Oh, that's it? Um... Uh, okay. Let's go in here. Maybe there's somebody in here. Maybe Byakuya's in here. What else? Do I have to go back and talk to- Oh, talk to her. Oh, Hina. How's Toko doing? Mm. Same as before. She won't come out. It just keeps mum mumbling things about Genocide Jack. <laughs> so I just left her there. You, you left her? My head is all swimming. I get pretty hungry. Oh, but don't worry. I'm gonna head back as soon as I'm done eating. Taco's not exactly pleasant, but I'm still worried about her. Speaking of which, what are you eating? <gasps> a donut, of course. Of course? There are two things I'm sure God created. Outer space and donuts. Really? Mm. I bet Chihiro would have liked to eat more donuts. 
Maybe that was one of her big regrets. I tried to. I should have tried to spend more time with her. Come to think of it, who did spend time with? Yeah, she was a little bit strange. Didn't really hang out with the other girls much. It was like she was trying to keep her distance from us. Actually, Sakura said something similar. Oh, that's him. That's Makoto. Oh, actually, Sakura said something similar. She said that even though you and her invited Chihiro to exercise with you, she always refused. Yep, it's true. And it wasn't just us, either. It was like she stayed away from all the girls. Was she just shy? Oh. I don't know. She talked to the boys all the time. Isn't it kind of weird to be shy around your own sex, but totally fine with the opposite sex? <gasps> oh, wait. Maybe... Maybe she's just used to guys spoiling her. The law says you can't judge a book by its cover, right? You think so? I never really saw her as that kind of girl. Oh, I needed hers. <gasps> that, that was it. That's all I needed. Begin the class trial, or it's about to begin. The red door, it's right through here. I like the suspense leading up to this door. The first person really gives it like a good impact. Ahem, so, is everyone ready to- What? Mm -hmm. Am I blind? Or are we missing someone? Oh. Uh, yeah, Toko's not here. Huh? And Toko is... <laughs> you really don't remember? Maga, maga. Kidding, I'm just kidding. How could I forget that little nut job? She's a crucial part of this class trial this time. Uh, Okie dokie, I'll go ahead and drag her here and kicking and screaming. Just one moment, please. And just like he said a few minutes later, he reappeared dragging Toko behind him. I told him I didn't want to, but he forced me. I can't believe you would drag a girl here. Terrible. Terrible. Hmm. Ew, so now everyone's here, right? Okay, and then hustle on to the elevator and let's get this show on the road. I'll see you guys down there. So, shall we get going? It's time to find out who killed Chihiro. Chihiro. Chihiro Fujisaki. She was so gentle, so calm and meek. Nobody had any problems with her. No, they killed Chihiro! Damn it! Someone made the choice to kill a girl like that. And the murderer is one of us. Someone standing right here. They are all suspects. We have no choice, right? We have to do this. So. Yes. I gave a small nod in reply. With one last deep breath, I walked towards the elevator on shaky legs. With each step forward, I could feel my heart starting to race faster and faster. As soon as everyone was on, the elevator began to descend. I couldn't get a handle on my emotions. I couldn't stop speculating. Oh, the people aren't, the numbers are going down. The steel box sank with heavy clunking sounds deeper and deeper into the ground. As we went deeper, the uneasiness in my heart grew bigger and bigger. The elevator was unaffected, however, and continued to descend without hesitation, until finally, it came to a sudden stop. What do you think? I redecorated! Isn't it so fresh? Isn't it it's so exciting? <laughs> Don't waste our time with stupid questions. Let's get this over with. Good, good. You're rip raring to go. Gotta say, I don't hate it. Not at all. Yeah. Okay, then. Let's get this show on the road. Everyone, please find your assigned seats.
And so the curtain opened once again. A deadly judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal. Oh my god, you need to stop with your deadly. With your deadlies. Yes, I want to save. Alright. We are going to go into the trial next time.